does complexity work at scale? It does. And it's the only team-based approach on the market that is designed for a multi-team. It's kind of a nonsense in this day and age where people are, the assumption is that we're in one team and the team, the product is one team. Don't get me wrong, it's the best way to be, have your best people focusing on something as one team, get it done and happy days, fantastic. Most people that I train are in a multi-team context. There might, there might be 10 teams, there might be 27 teams, there might be three teams. There's rarely one team, rarely one team. And complexity has thought about this in its very design. It's got a compass to help you to figure out what to do. It's got agile leadership, not just focusing on how can we improve the, uh, how effective our team is, but how can we improve how effective the, the organization is. It's got a concept of flow and borrowers from portfolio Kanban. But most importantly, in the appendix of complexity, if you look closely, you'll notice that there are some recommendations what you do in a multi-team context. Which other patterns can you bring to bear to help complexity give you more value in a multi-team situation? It even has a format, favor, try, avoid. And it has some patterns saying, you might wanna try these. Favor these ones, these are really, really good. These ones over here, you might wanna, you might want to brush them aside for now. They might suit other situations, but they're not very suitable for complexity. So a lot of thought was put into multi-team context, which is essentially what the scaling is all about. How do we get multiple teams all to work together? There's no need to reinvent the wheel. There's loads of patterns out there. Uh, there's flight levels, for example, there's Nexus, there's, um, there's less. And You've got Agile Kata as well, which is an approach as well, very simple approach for how multiple teams can work together as well. It was not designed for scaling, but complexity thought about this problem from the outset. Most teams are in a multi-team setting. And that's why you will find the complexity, clear recommendations on what you do when you've got multiple teams, multiple crews working together. What do we favor? What can you try? And what should you avoid?